I've got a new video for you guys because there are two YouTube mommies who have been taking advantage of this system and one of them took $15,000 for free from the government and then used it to purchase a stove. Like, why are these people taking money from those who are in need when they don't need it? Let's talk about it. <music> Like I said, we are talking about two YouTube mommies, and honestly, I'm actually hyped to talk about them because they kind of seem like they're enemies, like low-key competing with each other at all times. And I'm talking about Aaron Williams and Tara Henderson. If you don't know who they are, like I said, they're mommy vloggers who are also on YouTube. Tara currently has 600,000 subscribers on YouTube, and Aaron has 300,000 subs. But Aaron also got her fame from being on Big Brother, which is a reality TV show that she was really offensive on. If you have not seen that video, go watch it in my playlist right now because she was appalling. But anyways, today we are talking about PPP loans, which seems like something I would never talk about on my channel, but it's really important. If you guys don't know what a PPP loan is, it's pretty much a loan that was given out back in 2020 because of COVID and it was intended to keep small businesses running because a lot of businesses had to close because of COVID. It was a way for the government to give these businesses free money to pay their employees so that they could stay open. I've been doing a ton of research on PPP loans and as you guys can see it was a Situation set up last year where they spent a lot of money, $953 billion, to pay back all the small businesses in America. You had to have less than 500 employees. You had to be operational before February 15th, 2020. There are several rules, but pretty much a lot of people made a lot of money off of this. Tara and Aaron just happen to be some of those people. And again, if you don't know who they are, they're also on Instagram. Why don't we give their Instagram a shout out while we're at it. This is Tara's page and here is Aaron's page. And like I said, they are influencers. So it's kind of weird that they needed a PPP loan because that was intended for small businesses. A lot of fans are specifically upset with what Tara did because she got this $15,000 stove, which is beautiful for her new home that she's building and it's totally fine. It's her right to do so. It looks really great. I'm sure it will cook great as well. But it was a little bit ironic that she made $14,000 off of her PPP loan where she employs no people, zero people, and that's the cost of her stove. I'm not trying to say that she actually used the money from this to purchase a stove, but we do know that she profited $14,000 and that's how much the stove was. So we can just, you know, make that conclusion. This is a public website you can go on right now. It's federalpay.org and it gives you all the information on PPP loans and people who took them out. Tara took one out for her company, Advertising Material Distribution Services, and she took out $14,000. And a lot of people are a little curious on why she took out this money because she doesn't employ anyone and it's not like COVID ever stopped her job. Being an influencer and, you know, having COVID-19 or, you know, experiencing the COVID pandemic isn't going to take away from your revenue. You can still create videos. Um, Tara actually has a shop where she sells overpriced clothing. She can still continue with that. So I don't really understand why she would need to um, get this loan. But actually, in a few minutes, I'm going to play a clip where I talked with my dad about this because he is a business owner and he took out a loan. So he understands how it works. So he will explain it to us. But before we called dad here is a little screenshot snapshot of what um aaron got so here is her uh, pvp loan she's classified as musical groups and artists which i don't think aaron williams makes music right um she got thirty four thousand dollars from it and it looks like she employs two people um so this one for example people actually think they have an idea on where this money um is going or could have gone so she has two babysitters and i don't know if this is 100 percent fact i've seen it like everywhere so i'm pretty sure it is but i'm not going to just say it it is fact but she supposedly has two babysitters and she pays them it looks like about eighty three thousand dollars a year so based off of that and the loss that she experienced because of covid she was able to get thirty four thousand dollars free from the government just 
you know, to pay their employees. But Erin Williams, like, her her job never stopped. I mean, she stopped posting in June because she's very insensitive towards race, and she has her own issues with racial issues. So she stepped away during the Black Lives Matter movement, but that wasn't because of COVID. So I hope she didn't, like, take her step back from YouTube and social media as, like, COVID related because she stepped back purposely because of what happened with the whole like Black Lives Matter movement. And it's not like she experienced like a loss of revenue. It seems a little bit odd that like she's like claiming to have a business that is profiting money and enough money to pay these two babysitters and like that's the deal that she had. It's like this business, th these babysitters aren't making you any money. I mean, they could be if you were actually posting content on YouTube, but she posts like once a month, like once in a blue moon. Like I don't understand where she's getting this money from or why she even has two babysitters, but it's kind of problematic. Okay guys, I'm going to call my dad now. We can talk to him on the phone and see what he has to say about all of this because he is a businessman. He's experienced, so he's got some good insight. I hope that he can share with us. Hi, bro. Hi. Um, hey. What's up? Are you free for a second? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So I know what a um, PPP loan is. It's kind of like a new thing because it's just created because of COVID, you know, pretty much trying to keep small businesses in operation and stuff. So when I'm looking at like these, like these two YouTubers, um, it looks like they took out PPP loans, but I want to understand like, first, how do you actually make money off of the PPP loan? Because if it's a loan, you have to pay it back no matter what. So how do you actually make money off of like a loan? Well, okay. They're they're, see, some of some of the loans are being forgiven. A lot of the loans, excuse me, one second. Like most of them are? Well, and forgiven um, by who? The government? Yeah, see, the, gov it's a, the government back, you know, bill, law, that, that they put, you know, a certain amount of money, $350 billion out, mm -hmm. and they were going to, uh, you know, give this to the small business. It, it was all supposed to go to small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to, to make sure that, uh, you know, we could pay our employees, uh, if they were missing work, we could pay our employees. If we were slow in work, you know, yeah. we could pay our mortgage and things like that. Um, but there's a, uh. But what if you're not slow? So, like, what if your business, like a YouTuber, doesn't really stop because it's not like a restaurant or something? So you're still yeah, making that, that money. Really, yeah, that would be difficult to, uh, I would imagine that would be difficult for them to get. Um, to get a PPP. Because you do have to show, uh, you, know, you know, you have to have forms. If you're an independent contractor, you need a 1099 form. If you're self-employed, mm -hmm. you know, individuals or sole proprietorships, you know, there's there's different ways, but I'm, I'm certain people have figured out a way to work around the rules. You so know? then how do you make the money at the, like, in the simplest way? Uh, well, they don't, you, you're not actually making money. Or they are just giving you money. They they deposit a they deposit a amount of money into your uh, bank account, and then you have to use it to pay your employees, and you have to show proof of that. But then once you're done with that, and you've paid your employees with the money, it's just like yours, right? You don't ever have to pay it back. Well, well right, you, but you do have to go through a uh, questionnaire um, and different things to to uh, make sure that you are uh, you can be. Forgiven for the loan, you know that that it, it, and that turns it into a grant instead of a loan. But you do have to uh, you do have to answer quite a few um, questions. You know, quite a few questions. You have to have uh, payroll taxes and payroll forms and you know all kinds of things to prove what you did with the money. So okay, I'm just gonna run through quickly like two of the YouTubers I'm talking about, like what they did because you know it's all public, it's all out there on some website called federalpay.org, but so one of them is named Erin Williams. She actually was on Big Brother back in the day. I don't know if you remember her, but she was known for being oh, yeah. really offensive. Person, yeah, no. she was on it. And um, she, it says her industry is musical groups and artists, but she pretty much took out a loan for $34,000. And it says that she has two employees and they actually, people like did some snooping online and they think that her two employees are her two nannies because she, she has two yeah. nannies, um, I guess. So I don't know. It just seems like, so she... It looks like she had the opportunity to file this PVP loan because she hired because she employs these two nannies, and it's not like her work ever stopped. Like she never stopped making money. Her husband never stopped making money. Like everything was good. 
So they just kind of like got that money to pay their employees, but they probably didn't even need it because it's not like a YouTuber, their job like stops, right? Right, yeah, that's, uh, you know, she would have to, uh, uh, you know, show, uh, because I'm sure she was a musical performer. You no, know, she's it, not. It would, it would hinder, yeah. That would hinder her because nobody's performing anywhere. No place would mm. open to perform at. So uh, that, yeah, that would be really difficult. That's for, weird because she's not a for, singer. She's not like a performer, so I don't know. I mean, I guess she could have, you know, maybe she set up dates. You know, maybe she was a, uh, what do they call it, a promoter. Maybe. Um, and she set up dates and things, and she wasn't able to do that. You know, I'm sure that would fall under the category. But, but, uh, so it looks like she employs two people. Do you think that's just... So when you're talking about that, it's not about her money. Like, that's not what she's taking, right? It's about you paying your employees. Right, yeah. It's not like we, we get a PPP loan, you know, for the business, and then then I take that money and put it in my pocket. That's not... You but, can't do that. You have to tell where the money went. But the idea is that if you don't have to, if you don't necessarily need the money, you can pay your employees no matter what. So if you're getting a free thirty-four thousand dollars to pay your employees, you're pretty much getting like right. a thirty-four thousand dollar bonus on the other end. Yeah, they're, ta- they're taking from small businesses and restaurants and things that are actually having issues and problems. So then, and then um, there's another one. She, her name is Tara, but she has her industry is advertising material distribution services which i don't know if that's like what the government like labels it at or if that's what she did it as but she got a smaller one she only got fourteen thousand dollars but she also doesn't employ anyone there's zero people employed hmm. isn't that kind of random like i read yeah. like this one I thing mean, said it says that her like payroll expenses in 2019 were Sixty-seven thousand dollars. Um, yeah, she would have to. Then she's just claiming that she's been paying herself. Mm. You know, but all that would have to be done. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure they're doing it like legally and stuff, and a lot of people are doing it like legally. It's just more of like, I guess, ethically, right? You know what I mean? Like the. Like, do they actually need to do it? Because Tara, like the one I just talked about, the $14,000 one, she has an online website. She makes a bunch of money there with like selling clothes that she, actually I made a video about how she marks up the clothes like three times the cost. She buys it from like a China website, you know, $2 a shirt and sells it for $22 um, on her website. So I don't know. I think it le- a lot of people, like when they came across this, it's left a bad taste in their mouth because of it. Oh, absolutely. And it should, uh, it should bother people because they're, yeah, they're actually taking that. I mean, there's multiple, there's hundreds of thousands of, of people that applied for this. Um, uh, you know, it was fraudulent. You know, they, they made up companies. People, as soon as this thing came out, people just started making companies up and started yeah. uh, applying for loans. And a lot of them were given. They just they just caught some, uh, one couple leaving the country uh, that they were given $3 million. Wow. For different companies. There were never any companies, but they... Luckily, they called them right before they were ready to leave the United States. They're trying wow. to get out of town. Yeah, I definitely feel like these people did it correctly because they're in a public eye. But like, that's a clear. There's definitely like some wiggle room where you probably can do it legally, but still, like, is it right? Probably not. It just seems like they the system, like the PPP loan system, doesn't isn't that like well monitored? <laughs> Must not be. Right, but, but what you'll find, what you'll find, and a lot of things that government does is the government will jump and react to something very quickly, and then later on they'll go back through it and 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 hit every detail, and, mm. and you know, and, and kind of catch up with the the people who who really kind of screwed things up and are trying to try to get things that weren't deserved it, uh, they weren't deserved of. True. Good. Well, but they will. They they'll come back. They're not. The government, you know, it's just like the IRS. They'll they're find you. Penny slip by. Well, as they should. They should come get everyone. Um, I think that's all I need. I just want to see your perspective on it because I feel like it's like I don't know. I understand the business part side of it because you just you have a business and stuff. But it's also, I mean, there's a reason why people are kind of like upset because this one person, Tara, for instance, she got the fourteen thousand dollars, and guess who just got a fifteen thousand dollars stove put into her house? Like a crazy fifteen thousand dollars stove. Yeah. So uh, it's just not like it's the things lining up. It just doesn't look good. Or yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure you could probably uh, you could probably search out uh, uh, you know fraudulent PPP loans and, and people, and I'm sure it would just start popping up everywhere. Yeah, examples uh, and stuff. The amount of people that are doing it. Cool. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to me about it. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Love okay. you. Bye. Thank you.
Let me choose that. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really have anything else to add. Um, Aaron and Tara haven't said anything about this, and it doesn't seem like anyone else has really, like, spoke on it. So this video might not even go anywhere, and that's totally fine. But I did look up, like, uh, the Ace family and Brittany and Baby and other people to see if they did a PPP loan, and it didn't look like they did. But let me know if you guys know any other influencers who did that, because they probably shouldn't. Finally, I want to open this package I got in my P.O. box recently. You guys know, whenever you send me something, I open it on camera at the end of my videos. And it looks like this one's from Amazon, so hopefully there's a note inside of it. But thank you guys so much for just sending me stuff. And I have a little address at the end of the description if you ever want to send me anything. I'll give you a shout out or link your business or whatever. Um, ooh, here we go, the easy opening. Okay, so I am so, ooh, what is going on here? <gasps> oh, okay, let me read the note first. Let me read the note first. Oh, it doesn't say anything on it. It doesn't even say the name. Um, who, who got it for me though? I don't know. It looks like nature's Nas. Oh, it's treats for Bunny. <gasps> Look how sweet. Oh my gosh, that is so thoughtful. Thank you so much. She's definitely going to enjoy these too. And it looks like they're like natural and stuff. So thank you so much for this. I really appreciate that. Oh, and I really, I'm actually trying to get another puppy soon. So whoever sent me this, please comment below or Instagram or email or something because it doesn't say anything on the packaging and I would love to properly thank you. Um, but thank you again so much. I appreciate these. I want to go give one to Bunny right now. If you don't know my puppy, she has an Instagram. It's in my Instagram. Definitely go check her out. But until next time, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Also, this is actually from, someone just sent me this recently too. Not your demon. This is like someone's merch. They just sent me. She's a, her name is Rochelle Winters. Literally, it's at the bottom of this shirt we put up. Rochelle Winters. So I love being surrounded by such generous and creative people. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.